else that you've ever had sex with? Oh my god, did no one look at me, Cody Ko. I can say that, I was literally 17, I can say that. This clip started making the rounds and people were understandably perturbed because if Tana Mojo was 17, you would have been 25. So people started speculating and Tana decided to set the record straight. I hooked up with Cody Ko when I was 17 and he was 25. Actually an allegation that has existed for a long time that is only just now starting to surface. She claims that not only were you fully aware of her age at the time, but someone even tried to stop you and you went ahead anyway. There was a situation with Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went and hooked up. To be clear, 17 is under the age of consent in many states, including Florida, where playlist live used to take place. So this means that Tana Mojo is accusing you of statutory rape and she's not trying to hide that. This is isn't just some crazy tea. It was a crime. Remember how Tana said that fellow YouTuber Gabby Hanna tried to stop you before everything allegedly went down? Well, did you know that Gabby is actually on record telling the exact same story several years ago? One time, I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know, I know she like looks a little older, she's underage watch it and he's like oh my god thank you for telling me and then he turned that this is really really bad really really bad indeed pardon my potty mouth here but this is fucking disgusting hello and welcome to influencer police a place where we expose the lies the cheating and the dirty ways of these filthy influencers <laughs> Today's suspect, Cody Ko, allegedly hooks up with Tanny Mo Tanny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tanny. <laughs> okay. Today's suspect. Cody Ko allegedly hooks up with Tana Mojo when she was a minor. I'm Chief Coconut, and today I am joined by Detective Doodleberry. Say hello. What up, what up, motherfucks? It's Big DB! Big DB in the motherfucker! <laughs> okay, so did you want to start this off or me? me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, no. well, I will say recently, so allegedly Cody Ko, he's like been around forever, this YouTuber, this commentator, this YouTube commentator. Yeah, he's also like a DJ and some might say maybe even a comedian. I don't yes, know. people do say this. Mm -hmm. So, but he's been on YouTube for like a long time. Oh, yeah. Basically, when Tana Mojo was 17, just starting her career he was around and like they did some collabs so basically it's come out that by tana mojo herself that cody ko has allegedly hooked up with her when she was 17 mm -hmm. in florida during some kind of like youtube video award thing was it a video award or was it like something like vidcon like it was live yeah it was something like i like that it was probably like playlist live playlist yes yeah. playlist and this is sparking a lot of controversy because obviously Tana Mojo is a minor in the state of Florida. You have to be 18 to legally consent, which would make what Cody Ko did a crime. And he was 25 at the time. 25 fucking years old, bitch. Mm -hmm. Full on adult. Why this adult man would want anything to do with a 17 year old is crazy and beyond me. Disgusting. Disgusting. But... So this has been like, she's been talking about this for how long now? I mean, years. Like, she's been mentioning this, like, here and there. Well, she but never mentioned his name until recently. Recently. On their tour. On their live tour, she recently admitted that, one, he has a really small dick. Well, I can tell them the story. Hold on. I just want to say that. It's been, like, floating around recently, but what's really popping off this story is D'Angelo Wallace just made this, like, little exposed piece about it, and then Moist Critical, like, also following D'Angelo also, like, made a video, so now people are really talking about it. 
So it's getting the attention it finally deserves. But go in and tell about when she finally talked about it on the live show. So basically, the reason why these content creators are picking up the story now and it's getting a lot of attention right now is because a couple months ago when Tana and Brooke were on their canceled tour, there's this segment in their tour where they answer fans' questions from the crowd. And one of the questions was asking them basically who was the YouTuber or who was the influencer in one of their stories from their podcast that was about Tana hooking... Tana and Brooke basically told this story on their podcast a long time ago about how Tana had hooked up with an older person when she was 17 and how it was an influencer and how they had a small dick, but she never mentioned who it was. And so during their tour... One of the fan questions was, who was the influencer from that story? Like, who had the small dick and who the fuck was that? (laughs) (laughs) And they were hesitant to answer the question at first. But on their tour, the fans aren't supposed to be recording them on their phones. It's supposed to be like a no phone tour. So they kind of just were like, fuck it. And Tana basically ended up saying it was Cody Ko. And so that sparked a lot of people online to start talking about this for real. And people were shook as fuck that, like, Cody Ko was 25 and, like, got with her when she was 17 years old. Like, people were shocked. But the internet was low-key divided a little bit when this first came out. There was a lot of people that were defending Cody Ko. And they were basically saying, like, Cody Ko can do no wrong. I don't give a fuck, like, what he did. Like, he's so funny and chill that, like, this is irrelevant to me. Exactly. So a lot of people were divided against this and coming after Tana saying, like, she's a liar. She is just, like, lying about this. She's a problem maker. Like, they weren't taking it seriously and they were, like, dogging on Tana. And, like, D'Angelo Wallace in his video, like, talks a lot about this and shows receipts about Mm -hmm. how, like, a lot of people were coming for Tana. I saw it, like, on my own, just scrolling through TikTok. Like, there would be clips of the tour when they said it was him. Yeah. And, like, people in the comments, like, they would all be like, Cody Ko, they can never make me hate you. Like, like, oh, like, Tana was just, like a bop back then like tana's a bop like who cares like all this shit like just giving cody co this huge pass yeah and there's also this like rumor that basically i think when tana had mentioned this story on her podcast the first time and she never dropped his name everybody was obviously asking and asking and asking who the fuck is the guy from the story who's the guy from the story and Cody Ko basically, like, begged her not to say anything about the situation. And then he went and got married immediately after. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were saying the wedding was basically kind of just, like, a hush wedding. To, like, get people to shut up and, like, not question him and, you know, kind of just, like, distract them. Who was the wife? He's married to this girl named Kelsey. Is she, like, an influencer? Yeah, she's, like an influencer with him and shit. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, there's also someone else that knew at the time of this, and that was Gabby Hanna. Yes. And she told him to his face that Tana was a minor before they hooked up and to not hook up with her, and then he did that night. That is insane. Yeah. And she talks about this on some other podcast, too, that recently came to, like, resurface. Oh, my God. Yeah. Y'all, we need to put some respect back on Miss Gabby Hanna. We really do. Because, like, what? Well, Just she's say, actually really crazy. She's really Yeah, crazy. never mind. She's fucking out of her mind. Forget I said that. <laughs> she's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> But, you know, she's, she seems to be doing better, though. So I'm really going to give her that. I'm glad she's doing better. Oh, my God. And I low-key just wish she would kind of just stay off the internet. But Same, yeah. For her own mental health. But for you sure. know what? That's a whole other story. But she was on the right side of history with this one. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah, she was. 
And he literally knew that she was a minor and pursued it anyways. And I'm like, what kind of freak 25-year-old wants to be with a 17-year-old, you freaking pedo? No, seriously. Like, I'm around that age right now, and the thought of even getting with an 18-year-old is, like, disturbing Disturbing. to me. Like, that is a child. Like, I remember how naive and stupid and young I was when I was 18. Like, I have... It's... No, oh, yeah, close to like so where dumb. I am now. You know so what I mean? Dumb. Like the mental difference is fucking insane. Crazy. It's so different. Yeah. He is so nasty. Like that's really nasty. And you know what it's giving? It's giving that Brandon guy from the vlog squad who also hooked up with the 17 year old alleged. They all are just like that. They're, They're all nasty. He does remind me of like the knows. vlog squad. And yeah. he pretends like he's like this cooler guy that's like cooler than the vlog squad because he's so chill. He just reminds me of a fucking frat boy. Yeah, it's giving, like... The I'm, haircut, uh, the style, the attitude. Oh, yeah, it's so, the like... humor, like... Bland. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? It's so bland, and it's so frat boy. I'm just like, y'all really Enough like with the frat guy. boys. Enough. Like, sometimes he's kind of funny, but he's not, like, so funny enough to me where I'm, like, subscribed and watching. Like, it's just not my I, thing. I, before this, have never even heard of this dude. That's crazy to me. Yeah. I'm like, who is this? But then I looked into it, and I'm like, this dude? This dude is, like, boring snoozeville. No wonder. Yeah. No wonder I haven't heard of this guy. But apparently he's a nasty freak and P-word. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And apparently D'Angelo Wallace discovered that he has a friend till this day that was caught like illegally filming this girl having SCX with him and after he alleged drugged her and then showed the tape to like a bunch of people and then got like in trouble for this. It's like Like a different girl? No, the same girl. No, like, someone other than Tana. No, this isn't Tana. Who is this? Yeah, who is this? What are you talking about? (laughs) I'm talking about... Cody Ka has a friend. Uh Uh-huh. That his friend, in, like, college or something, when he knew him... Uh Uh-huh. Recorded a girl that that friend had sex with. Uh Uh-huh. And... Like, was filming it, and but drugged her, apparently, alleged. So you're saying Cody Ko drugged this girl? No. <laughs> his friend did. His friend drugged this girl. And his friend drugged this girl and recorded her illegally and was caught. Uh-huh. And so basically, R worded this girl. Yeah. And Cody Ko knows this, and he's still friends with this man to this day. Oh, bitch, I thought you were saying that Cody Ko was in the room filming. No. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, holy shit. No, but he's hanging out with this, like, guy that did that. Doesn't and, like, surprise me. that guy's in his friend circle till this day. And Cody at his Ko, wedding. At his wedding. Of course. Yeah. Cody Ko gives me that vibe. Like, there's frat just boy. something off about him. Yeah, he's just, like, yeah. this creepy little frat boy. This little fucker. Those frat boys are creepy as fuck. I remember when I was in college, like, I would hear so many stories of these frat boys doing just that. Exactly that. They would film these girls that they would allege drug, and then they'd, like, show all their frat boy friends, and, like, they would do this to, like, all the girls, like... That's disturbing. Yes, it was so disturbing. Wow. Yeah. But, like, the thing about Cody Ko is, like, he'll try to, like, mock frat boys. Like, that's kind of the whole bit of his, like, shtick, I guess. But in my opinion, I'm, like, it's, like, feeling a little too authentic to you, like, when you mock them. Like, you give off that energy, like, that actually just is you. Like, you're trying to make fun of the frat boys, but that's you. You're this DJ. You're like He's such a frat you're boy. You're out here hooking up with minors. Get out of my face. And they're like, shut up. Literally just shut up. So, you know, it's an alleged crime. So, you know. And Tana, after she got so much hate for this, which is fucking insane. To so me, insane and gross. At the end of one of her recent canceled episodes. They basically make this whole separate segment where she addresses this at the very end. And 
I feel so bad for her, y'all. She basically says that she grew up in Vegas and she had to grow up really quickly. And so she was really mature for her age at the time. And she says that she was basically mentally 21 at that time anyways. And that the situation was really minor to her compared to so many other things she went like through. And so she was kind of trying to say that this wasn't like traumatic for her. <clears throat> and like she was still addressing that it was a crime. But like she's kind of just trying to like write it off and be like whatever about it which is like girl no yeah no like no you know i'm sorry but you're not mentally 21 you're mentally 17 girl um you were groomed and hoodwinked yes and um this guy is a nasty p word like i literally don't care if you're like 16 17 and you're paying all your own bills and you're this independent boss queen like I don't care. You still should not be, like, involved with adults. No. You're not an adult. Even if you're 18 or 19, like, you're too young. Yeah, I know. And obviously, like, we've all been there. Like For sure, I've been there. I've definitely been there. And, like, thinking back at it now, it's mm-hmm. so creepy. And those people, are, like, are so low lives. And it's just not okay. And to <laughs> actually be the one, like, the adult pursuing this like 17 year old like you gotta be fucked up in the head like really nasty perv (coughs) oh (coughs) yeah i'm like i'm really sick of hearing these like gross stories about these gross men with platforms like abusing it and like hooking up with minors i'm like y'all are sick even when i was like 17 18 19 i would never like even think about getting with anybody a year younger than me same even if they were like a few months younger than me i was like uh Months is crazy, but... <laughs> I'm like, maybe it, just be a year older than me or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. And, but now that I, as an adult, like, yeah, I would do, like, a couple years younger, maybe. But not, like, a 25 and 17-year-old that's really... No. That's crazy. No. no. That's crazy. He's so gross. He's really gross. It's, like, at that point in your life, like... You should be past, like, that nasty college mindset behavior. 100%. You should be. Like, you can still, like, have fun. Like, don't get me wrong. You're still so young. But, like, you should be mature and you should be, like, not doing that. (laughs) You should have that amount of common sense. Of course. Unless there's a deeper psychological problem within you. Oh, well, clearly there is. He's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. Just disgusting. So, should this man have a platform? (laughs) (laughs) Well, he's gonna have one anyways, dude. His fans are, like, apparently diehard as fuck, which is so gross and really weird. I'm so sick of these, like, bland YouTubers having these, like, diehard fans. No, seriously. Like, like, what? Like, what is this guy doing for y'all? I know, don't get it. Okay, well, I hope that people believe Tana and this guy's nasty. I don't think they give a fuck. About what? That he did this. They don't give a fuck. Who doesn't give a fuck? His, his fans? fans. They don't care. Um, I saw was literally like DJing an entire set like two days ago. But I feel like it's really popping off now. Because if you go to his comments now, it's, like, everyone that found out and is, like, informed, like, coming after him. And he has been filtering comments, like, this whole time for weeks. And it's to the point where, like, he can't even filter anymore. And, like, and people are getting around the filters. So people are really coming for him. So we'll see what happens. I don't think anything's going to happen to him. Being so for real, people are just going to forget about this and move on. And he's not going to address it. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know, like, what he would say if he addressed this because he's basically just admitting to a crime. But people are really want him to k- take accountability in some kind of way. <coughs> people are not going to let it go until, like, he says something. I don't think he's going to say anything. I guess we'll find out if he ever does, but his comments are filled with this. People are not letting it go. People are calling him Diddy. 
<laughs> That's crazy. People are literally calling him Diddy. They call everybody Diddy. He is next. He is now. He is the new Diddy. So he really wants that as his like reputation. Then yeah, I guess don't say anything. Your silence is deafening. Well, he's been silent about it for years, and he tried to hush her up about it, like, so many times, so... That's true. He, like, texted her recently, and was like, are you good? Are we good? Yep. Well, we're not good. The internet is not good with you, bitch. Yep. All right, so please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit to 10k... Please um, follow our Patreon. That'd really help us out. Please like the video. Um, yeah. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses. I'm out the door. I'm going to get with Tana Mojo when she's a minor. I'm 25. She's 17, but that's not going to stop me. Because I'm a nasty little... Freaky, creepy, small dick having little bitch. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> small dick. Mm-hmm. Subscribe. <laughs>